first appearing in Marvel Preview No. 4 from 1976. Peter Quill's half Spartoy heritage grants him top human durability, endurance, intelligence, speed, and strength, and he also has triple the normal life expectancy. When Peter Quill's father, the son of Spartax, future ruler of the Spartoy Empire, crash landed on Earth, Meredith Quill took him in and cared for him. When Jason headed for the stars, he left two things behind, his high-tech gun and a pregnant Meredith. When Peter was 10, Badoon warriors came to kill him and his mother. Meredith died, but Peter secretly escaped. As an adult, he joined NASA to get into space and wound up in a galactic prison after a fight with the Fallen One, a former herald of Galactus. During the annihilation, Nova broke Peter out of prison and they helped defeat both Annihilus and the Phalanx. Believing the universe needed protecting, Peter formed the Guardians of the Galaxy. When the others discovered he'd asked Mantis to mentally push them into joining the group, the Guardians banished him. Peter later joined a new Guardian team, formed by Rocket Raccoon, and traveled through time to try and save the future. He was eventually made King of Spartax, and his fiancée, Kitty Pride, replaced him in the Guardians of the New Star-Lord. Ultimately, Quill was ousted from power, and he rejoined the Guardians. They aided Captain Marvel in Civil War II, but afterward the group learned Peter was keeping secrets from them, and they briefly split up. They reunited, however, to help Gamora find the Soul Gem, though Gamora killed Peter, temporarily, to keep him from interfering. Comment down below what videos you'd like to see in the future, and what you think we'll see from Star-Lord in the next movie. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more Marvel content and follow me on my various platforms listed in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.